United Arab Emirates is the country of the Arabian Peninsula full of all reserves and all rich people. This is a country where you will see luxury toys, huge hotels and tall skyscrapers in almost every corner, so much so that each of them is worth millions of dollars and they are all more spectacular than the other. This is a very small place. Although it is a country, the richest people in the world live in this country. Moreover, it is still a new state and was founded in 1971, this country which has been formed by the merger of seven emirates since 1972, is briefly known as the country of emirates. Before that, it had its own identity for many years under the protection of Great Britain. The main source of income of all the rich people in the country is based on all companies. For example, an income flow of over $400 billion is provided to the country every year and more than 70% of this money is obtained from the sale of oil in addition they have world-renowned rich cities, such as Dubai and this cities, like these open the doors of luxury-oriented world tourism to people. The main reason why many tourists visit the United Arab Emirates is that they have a crowded and popular city like Dubai, but they do not completely follow the rules of civil law in terms of management. The country is governed by a system arising from the combination of civil law and city law. The Arab Emirates is really a small country in terms of surface area. Land area owned by the country is quite minimal when compared to Arab countries such as Saudi Arabia, which consists of 83,000 square kilometers. For example, the surface area of Saudi Arabia is exactly 2,150,000 square kilometers. It is within an area of 83,000 square kilometers. They have a population of 10 million people. If we look at the United Arab Emirates on the map, it is possible to see that these seven emirates border United Arab Emirates and see the life of the rich. For this, you must apply either to the consulates or the embassy. If we take a brief look at the history of the United Arab Emirate, we must say that this geography hosted life as far back as 3000 BC due to its geographical location. It was one of the important trade points of the world even thousands of years ago during the spread of Islam. The entire Arabian Peninsula was included in the Islamic lands and this geography was tried to be controlled hundreds of years later by various states, including the Ottoman Empire. But until the discovery of all, the United Arab Emirates was never a place that the world set its sights on. Until the beginning of the 20th century, the country made its living from seafood, it was undergoing endless collapses. As recently as 1958, oil was found in the country and this took the people there from the bottom points to the highest points of the world, so much so that almost everyone established businesses and expanded their companies on oil. Today, the children who grew up after the discovery of oil are the children of the richest business people in the world. Of course, not everyone has a billion dollar fortune. Also many ordinary people who came to popular places like Dubai to work later in this country. For example, the national income per capita is about 70,000 US dollars annually, which corresponds to approximately $6,000 on a monthly basis. Of course, a person who goes to Dubai to work as a construction worker can never earn this money. In fact, it is claimed that the country turns a blind eye to great negligence in terms of protecting workers' rights and engages in labor exploitation by employing workers in conditions close to slavery. The workers who go to Dubai to work are generally in Bangladesh, India and the Middle East. It consists of poor communities coming from various countries of the East. Construction workers who are in need of work cannot find a job in their countries and go to such developing Arab countries with hope, but hundreds of them lose their lives during the construction of these constructions. The language spoken in the country is naturally Arabic, but this only has a symbolic meaning because almost all Arabs work. They do business in English in their sectors. Moreover, the number of immigrants coming to the country illegally or officially is so high that you can witness Pakistanis and Indians speaking their own languages while walking on the road. Although there is a language difference between immigrants and locals, there is a distinct factor that holds them together in the United Arab Emirates. 90% of the people are societies that have adopted Islam and Islam. Therefore, the people who come to this country generally include nations that are intertwined with Islam. In this sense, we can say that the majority of people in the United Arab Emirates are gathered under the roof of a single religion. In addition, those who have been immigrants in the country for at least 20 
years and who have a registry register citizenship can even be granted to people with clean records. This is the biggest wish of immigrants. Because in the United Arab Emirates, those who do not have citizenship are deprived of many things in terms of social status and rights and are treated as second, third class citizens. The laws in the country invite an authoritarian and non-liberal structure in the country. For example, the media is completely it is under the control of. The government, there is not a single media outlet in the country's news agencies that can criticise the Emirates and express the flaws or shortcomings about the administration. Even TV series and movies and programmes for the entertainment industry cannot go beyond the city's legal rules. Actions such as kissing or hugging in public are prohibited. Also, be a Muslim during Ramadan or do not be a tourist. It is absolutely forbidden to eat in public. Moreover, you cannot take photos of anywhere you want in the country. For example, if you take a photo of a government building, a military barracks or an embassy building and publish it on social media, you will most likely get in trouble. Or if you are not married and you are traveling with your girlfriend to any of the United Arab Emirates. If you are going to the Emirate, it is not possible to share a hotel room together. So, let's make a deeper analysis of how life in Dubai progresses. Undoubtedly, one of the biggest problems of the people living in the United Arab Emirates is that the temperatures remain high throughout the year. For example, in this geography, people take vitamin supplements in the summer due to vitamin D deficiency. The reason for this is that the temperatures in the summer do not fall below 40 degrees. Since people do not prefer to go out in extreme heat, they avoid the sun as much as they can. A large part of the population does not go out unless they have to and they try to overcome the heat by turning on the air conditioners in their homes. If you, if you are going to Dubai to work, you must have the air conditioning running in the place you will stay. There is no specific minimum wage concept in the country and the lowest salary scale is made up of waiters and construction workers. While an average waiter gets a salary of $2,500, construction workers can get a salary of nearly $3,000. This amount is compared to the rest of the world. Of course, it may seem perfect to you, however, if you desire a long-term life there, your living expenses, especially house rents, are accordingly expensive. It is very, very difficult financially for an expatriate to come here from scratch, establish a life and spend a life here. If you are going to work as a worker, working under the heat of Arabia, it will be enough to make you tired of life. Therefore, it is very difficult to live a long-term life in Dubai by working an ordinary job. You can go as a worker, live by restricting yourself as much as possible and send money to your family. This is a logical idea in the short term or as an expert in the field, you can pursue high paying jobs in big companies there. You will work. This is approximately in the range of seven to eight thousand dollars. Of course, those who receive this money generally consist of European, American and Canadian people. Filipino, Pakistani people generally work in much more professional groups, while the Western part deals more with finance. Of course, this situation also causes a class separation in the society. For example, in Dubai, enter one of the richest restaurants or a store in the country. If you have an ordinary, penniless image, you are treated accordingly. But if you are a moneyed person, your respect in the country is accepted by everyone and you gain status. This situation is not just for showing off, for example, a worker. A person, if he has a disagreement with a rich Arab, the law starts to serve the rich regardless of who is right. That is, an unqualified and poor person has no chance against the rich in the United Arab Emirates. Friends, therefore, if your passport in the United Arab Emirates has changed to Bangladesh, it says that you are a Pakistani Sri Lankan Filipino, you are five. In the eyes of the rich Arabs, it means you are zero behind. You work hard all day in the heat for cheap wages and you struggle to send a penny to the Philippines. This is really a sad situation. One of the best things for them is that there are so many immigrants in the country. There are South Asian restaurants and restaurants in almost every corner of the United Arab Emirates. There are business operators. This way, they can eat food from their own culture and have the opportunity to chat with their own citizens. But earning money in the United Arab Emirates is very important. 
There is also an advantage that it may not be deducted from your earnings in this country, my friend. So, whatever you agree with the company, you get your full salary without having to pay taxes to the state. But this may also be a scam. For example, there is no deduction from your salary, but you are already paying taxes by purchasing products at a higher price compared to the rest of the world in your purchases such as groceries and technology. Of course, not only economic considerations are effective in deciding to live in a country, but also respecting and complying with the rules and laws of this Arab country. Moreover, if you have an admiration for greenery, the United Arab Emirates, especially Dubai, will not be a country that appeals to you in any way, because cities like Dubai are full of skyscraper-style concrete piles from top to bottom, and when you look at the city from above, you see nothing but a grey ambience. If you are looking for a desert and safari if you want to do a tour, maybe desserts can make you happy, but the cost of a desert trip in Western Sahara in Morocco will not be the same as the cost in Dubai. Of course, there is another feeling about Dubai that when you walk around the streets of the city, you realize that there is not enough lively spirit, and the ultra-luxury vehicles you see on the road pass you by. Things like king suites in hotels passing by with thousands of dollars worth of clothes give the atmosphere of a life built only by the power of money. What I am trying to explain is that when you take the power of money from cities like these, the possibility of people choosing this country to live in decreases considerably, because everyone who comes to the country to live comes to find a job in the industry and all sectors. Undoubtedly, before all was found here, these lands were much more natural and beautiful. At least, those who came to this country came because they really wanted to come to this country. And it added a spirit of excitement to this country. Then, humanity made everything artificial with the power of money and all the beauties of nature disappeared one by one. Today, when you talk to a person who has lived in Dubai for many years, they are close because they cannot establish permanent friendships. People interact with each other for a certain period of time, but after a while the orbit starts to break up. The reason for this is that the social structure there consists of temporary people who go to the United Arab Emirates for a certain purpose. However, today the United Arab Emirates is one of the safest countries in the world and the functionality in its service and infrastructure systems is also tremendous if you look at it from the perspective of a developed metropolis. Yes, cities like Dubai are really as good as New York and are at the center of the most developed cities in the world. For example, if you are a millionaire and if you do not think that your money and life are safe in the country you are in, the United Arab Emirates is one of the countries that will keep your money safe. There are some misconceptions about the country. Many people think that you cannot drink alcohol in the United Arab Emirates, but the use of alcohol is very common in the country. Moreover, some restaurants in the country even serve pork dishes. Women, on the other hand, do not consist of completely veiled people. Since the country also serves tourism, you can see many uncovered women in places like Dubai. These people can even swim and have fun in the beach areas as if they were in an ordinary Western country. Moreover, the country also hosts the world's largest shopping malls and so on. Many things are allowed in entertainment places. In short, Dubai and the United Arab Emirates are not places where people with an ordinary income can live for a long time. It is a geography that contains many luxuries in cities that appeal only to the ultra-rich Arab community. It is a region where time can be very difficult. It also has a state structure that privatizes many legal balances under its own roof, both in terms of human rights and equality between men and women, in my opinion. The United Arab Emirates is worth seeing for a holiday, but after a while it may start to bore you because there is no soul in the country. The only fun activity you can do without having any money in this country, where everything is all about vanity and artificiality, is seeing dozens of different shopping malls and taking photos in front of luxury hotels, but if you can afford to rent a helicopter and visit cities like Dubai from above, of course, go to this country and see it. My friends, like the video and subscribe to the channel, don't forget to subscribe bye bye.